All right, so we have a, f a few lunch containers here to sort through. And I'm always saying, I can't find anything to put the lunches in. You are, right? Uh huh. Always. You want that on your first day? Yeah. All right, let's come up with the perfect combo of containers that will fit in there. Okay, then. we got a few. There's a few over there. <laughs> and there's some to get rid of. Garbage. This is a sad moment. The quality, I, I'm not sure. Look, we have a crack. That lasted for eight years. Eight years. So we took that in her lunch every day for eight years. Only eight years? Eight years. I think that's a pretty good investment. It is. You don't have to get new stuff every year. Just use the same old stuff for eight years. Drive your kids crazy. From that giant pile down to this, that looks a little better. Good job. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm just cutting up some cantaloupe here so it's ready for lunches through the week. Now I'm just getting all the grapes ready, so pulling them all off the stems and I'll wash them and then they'll go in a Tupperware and then they're easy to pack in lunches. So the week before school started, I baked a ton of muffins and then I froze them and then you can just pull out one every day, put it in their lunch. Alright Jen, take all the food back out so you can show people what you made. This is why Jen's never on the videos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <All right. laughs> let's try again. Oh, oh no! Oh no, it's stuck because it's frozen. I'm going to leave that on there so you can see it after. So this is a chocolate chip banana muffin that's frozen and it'll defrost overnight in the fridge with cantaloupe. Elliot has a plain banana muffin because he doesn't like chocolate chips. He don't like chocolate don't chips. Like them. He don't like chocolate don't chips. He don't like them. Um, and he has cream cheese on his with cantaloupe. Then Oscar has cucumbers, carrots, snap peas with some dip and mostly grapes and a few pears because we're trying to get him to eat pears. He likes grapes. And then he has just some pasta with tomato sauce on it. That's his favorite food ever. And then Elliot, oh no, I forgot to pack his lunch. So he has the same vegetables. He has more pears and a few grapes because he loves pears and doesn't really like grapes, but I had them prepared. So, and then he has tzatziki to go with his vegetables. And then, earlier, I made uh, homemade burritos, so he'll have one of those. I'll heat it up in the morning and then put it in his lunch. I'll show you those homemade burritos getting made. Jen's preparing some burritos ahead of time. What? I make lunches? Jen makes lunches. Hmm. And they're all ready to go for the week. Got a scoop of refried beans. A tortilla. A whole wheat tortilla. Okay, so we have refried beans. Grated mozzarella. I would usually use cheddar, but I didn't buy any of the grocery store I forgot. <laughs> How much does this cost, Jen? Okay, so when you buy them frozen, which the kids seem to like them when they're frozen, they're a dollar each. So, we bought a pack of whole wheat tortillas, and I think they were $2.99 for 10 So that makes them 29 cents each. And then I used probably a half a bag of mozzarella, which is $5, so it's $2.50. And then I used a can of refried beans, which is $1.79. Okay, so I just did the math. It works out that these would each be about a dollar per, which is what we buy them for frozen. However, okay, so, but you know, it makes me feel better as a mom because it's a whole wheat pita and I don't know, there's real cheese. Uh, I'm gonna go with this as a success. I don't know, maybe it's not really, but whatever, the kids will eat them and that's good. That means we have a few lunches prepared for the week, so. Okay, this is Olivia's lunch. She made herself. It's kind of a secret because she probably doesn't want us to show you because she made it herself. And but we're going to take a little sneak peek into what she made for her lunch for her first day of junior high. Ooh, junior so high. So she made a salad. It looks like she has feta and tomatoes and spring greens from our garden. In a mason jar. Nice. Hipsta. And then some dressing. I'm, I'm sure she probably just made that because that's what she does. She has a thing full of grapes and some snap peas. Oh, not real snap peas. These are like those chip things. <laughs> Oh, the chip snap. And then she has a cut up peach and a banana chocolate chip muffin and uh, one of these fruit bar things. I don't think that's enough food for her. She eats way more than that, but we'll give it a whirl. Okay. 
Looks like Jen's more excited than I'm likely to go. What are you doing? <laughs>